DeAndre. 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 The one and only. I know when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. Welcome to another episode of of Dope or Nope. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about a movie that I, you know, recently saw, me and the wife recently saw. It's a movie on Netflix called The Strays. This movie's been out for a little while. I've kind of heard about it. You know, people here and there have said their own piece on it. And, you know, for a while, I forgot about it. I didn't really, you know, think nothing of it, but then I happened to see it on Netflix. Me and the wife looked at each other and said, you know, fuck it, put it on. Let's see what it is, let's see what it's about. We put it on and, you know, we saw the trailer for it, so we kind of thought we knew what to expect when we, you know, <laughs> we turned it on. I'm gonna start obviously at the very beginning. Listen, when I when I do these kind of things, I try not to give spoilers, but you know, I I, I do want to still tell you my experience in looking at this, right? And 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 informing you if you should even waste your damn time. Starting at the beginning, if you if you looked at the trailer and you went into this and you looked at the you know, the beginning of this, you know, you say, okay, I kind of think I know what I'm gonna get, right? I'm gonna get like a get out us Jordan Peele esque type of type of movie, right? Like that's the kind of vibe that I feel like I'm gonna get. I don't believe Jordan Peele had anything to do with this movie. Uh, the director was Nathan Nathaniel uh, Martello White. He direct and wrote this movie. It stars Ashley uh, Madikwe, uh, Bucky Bakri, and Jordan Miri. Pretty much, there's this woman who is pretty much seemingly living the you know, much coveted suburban wife, you know, lifestyle, right? She's, she's this, you know, she has a booming career, you know, she has two, you know, wonderful kids, right? And she's happily married. That's kind of how it presents itself. But there's, there's this weird energy about her, right? There's this weird energy in the movie and you kind of are sitting back like, okay, what the hell is her problem, right? It almost gives you the vibe that she like escaped from like a mental hospital or something like that's what it gives you because you're on the edge of your seat kind of like all right why does she keep being all fidgety like why is she so nervous all the damn time right and then later on in the movie you start to kind of it it unravels itself right so it starts off from one side right it starts off from her side the wife's side okay the main character in this movie it starts off from her side and you kind of see her life and you start to see things from her perspective and you start to think, okay, is she all right up there? So you're already in the beginning asking yourself a lot of questions. Now, unfortunately, a lot of those questions that you're asking yourself in the movie don't get answered towards the end. In fact, once the end gets here, you have more questions than ever. You have more questions than ever. You're like, what the fuck did I just look at? So. You're asking yourself all these questions. In the beginning, you start to feel like you know or you feel like you think you know. At least I did. I felt like I thought I knew what was going on, right? Because there's these tones of race, right? There's these tones of class, like racism, classism, right? Like you you think you are on the right track if you're thinking about that, right? If you're looking at this movie in the beginning and you're thinking about those two things, then you would think that you're on the right track. All right, cool. Let me just stay on this Stay on this road and see where it takes me, right? Well, if you were thinking like that, then you might be right and you could be wrong. In regards to what the main character, Cheryl, does, if that's even her real name, you know, she is a uh, deputy headmistress at uh, an overwhelmingly white public school in a tiny English suburb, right? So this is based in the UK. This is based over in England. She's married to a white man. He's an insurance broker, you know, you know, all that stuff, right? She drives a Range Rover, right? She wears a string of pearls, you know, she's hosting galas and events, right? Like the, the real stereotypical, you know, upper echelon suburban lifestyle, right? That's kind of what you get with her in the beginning. But the ominous feeling that you get overall with this movie, there's a reason why you get that. Now, I told you in the beginning, there's a first half and that's her point of view. Now in the second half, you get another point of view. Now the other point of view that you get are from two individuals, okay? Man and a woman, both of them black, 
All right, the man, his, you know, his name in the movie is Marvin, and the woman, the name is in the movie is Abigail. Right now, Marvin, who's played by uh, Jordan Meary, and Abigail, who's played by uh, Bucky B Backray, I think is her name. You know, they are pretty much coming out of nowhere. It seems right. You're like, okay, who are these people, and what the hell do they want with this this woman? Right? What the hell do they want with her? Like, why are they coming after her? In the first half, you're looking at it, and you're like, okay, is she running from something? Right? Like, is she's, you know, is something coming at? Like, wh why is she so nervous? The second half will pretty much explain kind of why she's nervous and you're like having this internal battle with yourself right like am i really seeing what i like what i'm what she's seeing or is she crazy and i'm not crazy like are these people ghosts are they really there you're asking yourself all these questions right you're not crazy they are there okay but again it keeps it keeps fucking with you this movie keeps fucking with you so we skip ahead marvin abigail they pretty much are on the hunt for her and that reason when you go watch the movie you'll know why they're hunting for her when they finally get a hold of her kind of like okay we start to we we get some closure now right we start to understand what the hell is going on so then once you get that information that you feel like you've been craving for this whole time you're then left with more questions because marvin abigail who is his sister in the movie right their brother and sister they are you know they they have this whole plan to you know do something with her now, i can't tell you what it is right and i hope hopefully i'm not being like too vague but they you know they ho they have this plan to do something with her and once they carry it out then you'll start to see and this doesn't it doesn't really come toward like it doesn't really come until the very end why she seems to be so freaking crazy she might be right I'm talking about ashley Medique, right the the main character in the movie she might actually be the worst mom of the century because towards the very end she ends up doing something that is so utterly heinous that it can't even be real it can't even be real right it's almost as if wait a minute did i just sit here and watch all of this movie for it to end this way you did because you were pretty much hoping, at least I was, for some sort of clarity, right? <laughs> you didn't get it. You didn't get it at all. I'm sorry to burst your bubble on that, you know, but you didn't get it, man. You didn't get it at all. And uh, it was kind of frustrating, you know, it was kind of frustrating. And it left a lot of people kind of upset. Actually, a lot of people upset. Some people thought it was kind of funny what happened towards the end. But me, I, I just, I was a little upset, right? Needless to say, some people get hurt in this movie. A lot of tension is built up in this movie. And it seems to be all for naught because you're still kind of scratching your head and you're like, okay, so then what happens now? And some people may be speculating that another Strays may be coming out, another movie, another, you know, sequel to this is coming out. I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, have you ever heard that song? She's a runner, she's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. Well, they must have had this person in mind because that's exactly what she was to a T. She is probably one of the most despicable moms I've ever seen on TV. She's at least top three, and she ain't three, I ain't gonna put it to you that way. Like I said, I tried to at least give you some background, okay, as to what you're gonna be watching and what you can, be, what you can expect uh, in a movie like this. I thought overall the acting was, was good, right? I thought it reminded me of Jordan Peele's movies, right? The Get Out, Us, uh, I didn't see Nope, but I'm sure it had elements of that in that movie, you know, where you thought it was going to be about social commentary. You thought it was going to be about race. You thought it was going to be about that because that's what it led with in the beginning. Because, you know, here she is, you know, she's married to this white man. She's got these, you know, very, you know, fair skin, light skin kids, you know. And every time the topic of race came up in the movie, she would get very uncomfortable right she'd be scratching her head and shit and she would be you know just real fidgety she didn't like talking about it but then you'll find out kind of why and then towards the end you're like well was it even about that or was it really about this right so anyway i hope that that made sense um it was pretty much advertised as like a psychological thriller um i would kind of say that you know I would kind of put it in that category was it dope was it no nope? i probably had to give it a no right i probably had to say no you know probably don't waste your time on it you know i mean it, just the 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 time just the time investment alone 
isn't really worth once you actually find out what happens at the end, right? Because that's really what we care about, right? Like, okay, what did I just watch all of this shit for, right? Where is it leading to? What's the point? And once you get that point, I don't think it's gonna be worth the frustration that it gives you. That's just my own personal opinion. You can have yours, put it down in the comments, man. Strays, I really hope they don't come out with another, <laughs> another movie because I swear to you, that is going to be crazy because there's really no way to top what you just did, you know, uh, in this first movie. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this, man. All right, stay lit. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. Everything else will work out for itself, man. Peace.